Hi, Nick. How's you? I'm good, Paul. How are you doing? Good. Excellent. And the weather's shining. Uh, it's the sun lovely. is shining. It's not raining and you're in a tent, which is fortunate, right? It, that's right, yeah, because otherwise we'd be boiling out there, I think, uh, this year. Really nice down here in Berlin. But a new thing. Yes, and there it is. Now, there's a few clues here. If you notice the kind of shaping of that, does that reminisce? Uh, Does it evoke uh, anything? This is a challenge for you, really. Gosh, uh, I've got show brain already. That's all right. Of my first appointment. Sorry. That's all right. So this is nothing like the first product we did. When I set out, wanted to do an analog synth. This is our hybrid synth. And then down the line, we're looking at a digital line as well. This hybrid has been developed with a different team. And the key element of this is a certain Mr. Late Chris Huggett. So this is Chris Huggett's last synth. It's named Mantis because it follows on from Wasp. Ah. So it's Wasp Heritage. Right. Um, Chris and I were collaborating on this for about a year before he sadly passed away. And um, he was very good um, toward the end in handing over the code to us. And we've kind of picked it up and with the blessing of his lovely wife, Melanie, and family, we want to bring this to market now. And Wow, okay. Yeah. So, so quite a legacy. Indeed. Quite something to be trusted with. So we hope we do him justice. So, wow. Um, so it's essentially Chris's design. We're trying to change as little as possible. Well, Chris and I, as we worked on it, uh, design up to the point. Um, essentially, it, it's a wasp kind of design, but it's duophonic. Right. Um, but it has the double filter. So that's more Oscar, if you like. Yeah. So we're co so you can kind of think of it as an updated Wasp or a Wasp Mark II, but with an Oscar filter and two analog signal paths, so two voices duophonic. Nice. Yeah. So Different. what, is, what's, what does it sound like? Um, this is I, I've gone straight for this. So so where we are in development, we have over there some circuit boards. So that's what it should truly sound like. We're kind of between the point so that we vo get it's to. So it's voicing, yeah, you're voicing. In, in yeah, we're in development, so we're so that works 100%. This is where we're kind of making the firmware ready for manufacture. Got so you. we're probably about a stage earlier than I would have liked to have been for Superbooth, in all honesty. However, it makes some noises, so we can we can hear that. And one of the characteristics you do want to hear is this sweeping filter, which I've got hooked up to an LFO. And that's the kind of width idea of the Oscar, where you've got the two peaks moving in yeah, and out. Yeah. Right, exactly. And we've got several types of filter as well. So that's... Are they stereo uh, in the field? Does it become a stereo? Uh, it does. The, uh, uh, oh, no, the, not the filter, no. No. Okay. But the voices will pan. So we've got a pan depth there. I'm not going to show you too much on here, but um, essentially oscillator one, oscillator two, sub which follows number one, different shapes and some tables. So that's where it starts in the digital domain. So it is hybrid. Yeah. The oscillators are numerically calculated on power up using Chris's special source and his special maths. And then we go into the analog domain and all of this is digitally controlled analog. Because yeah, so we got memory analog. Too, haven't we? Yes. So, so we're going um, to we're going to ship it with 100 uh, factory patches and 100 user yet to be done. They'll be done over the next few months. Um, then here, this is the Chris style mixer. So you balance between oscillator one and two. You can add in noise like that. And then here you can also balance in with the ring mod. So it's kind of fun. It's all supposed to be one to one control, live, easy to use. Mod roots is dead easy. You go, we've, we've done it here. But if you wanted to take, say, filter frequency, you hit that and you go, well, I'd like to modify that with the LFO2 and I want that full on. Or I'll have LFO2 multiplied by, say, velocity or aftertouch. And it's simple right. as that. So press, 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 and you've got a mod route. Right. Okay. Easy as that. So it's supposed to be really easy, really direct. As I say, all analog here, a couple of envelopes. It's a Chris special on here, which is called Sustain Fall. So you kind of get an attack, and then while you're holding down the key, you get an extra bit of Sustain Fall, and then you release the key, and it continues the envelope. Does oh, release. Right. So it's like an extra stage, right? Indeed. You've got repeats on those as well, which is fun. And then, and then we've managed to squeeze in a bit of digital effects on the end, which just sweetens the sounds and makes it more of an all-together instrument for performance basis. So... Can he we says, hear some more waves as well? Because what was that that we were listening to? We were listening now, to I would, I would, I would dearly love to. Uh, but it's, it's, um, it's pre... Okay. It's a little bit early. Um, yeah, we can, if, uh, if you have time, we can hook up on that one and have a, another extra listen. But um, yeah, at the moment, we're a little bit early. So 
Okay, well, no, so... Just being well, honest. But, yeah, no, that's yeah. fine. So, um, what's your, when, when are you hoping this is going to be out, then? Because, obviously, it's a bit soon, soon, but... It is, but we don't want to be that, you know, um, show it and then not do it. This is engineering sample. QA stage is next. We will be shipping by summer. Okay. So we will be we will have it in stores by the end of the summer. So it uh, will be in time for Christmas. And what sort of target price are you looking track. for? Have you got that fixed yet? Um, euros or pounds? Euros. Either both. One five nine nine, including VAT. Euros. Right. One three four nine pounds. Okay, VAT. got you. Yeah. Uh, does it That's share, MSRP, of course. Does it share so. any heritage with uh, the uh, malevolent? Believe it or not, no, it it's doesn't. So again, with PWM, three teams of engineers working on three different products. So this one is separate. Except there is a commonality, which is Ben Supper. Um, you may have heard of him. He worked on this. Yeah. So you notice the joystick and the keyboard. So the key scan is Ben's. Um, some of this stuff, how the octave works and that kind of thing, the USB. And Ben's owned the overall design. He's taken that over from Chris. He's done the boards and he's now working on the code. Right, okay, In fact, on. he's been pulling all-nighters to make it make a sound for us here. Thank, so you. thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Well, well, <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't, why don't we actually go and listen to, if, you ha if there are some yeah. more examples, let's do that. Okay. So, Paul, we're sure. over here. This is uh, what looks like a sort of development board, but this is, can give us a bit more sound, right? Indeed. So this is what Chris worked on last, and then when Ben's picked it up, we're now translating that into this hardware here. Um, but the Chris thing is fully functional. So we can start with a sign, uh, a sawtooth, yeah. and we can listen to the filter there. And you wanted to hear it lower, so we'll use the octave and go down with the octave there. Listen to that. How's that for you? Yeah, nice. So there, and then we can add in resonance. Here's a sweet one there. Oh yeah, lovely. Sing song as well. I, I have to, I, I'm going to say it because everybody else will. Yeah. Does it do PWM? <laughs> it does. Um, we have a shape on all the waveforms, in fact. So if we go for a pulse, then that's sweeping the pulse from side to side. Are we getting that? And we're hearing all that, so let's just take that off. can use the mod there to do it so if we go yeah i understand this is a bit like you know, a so kind shape of braille version lfo of, uh, full on no we are we're there we can use the lfo to do it it's a bit hard to and so how does the, the duo you say it's geophonic does yes. the geophonic mode is yeah it's, uh, so if you switch that on you can two voices like that and then you can start to pan them as well so you can go hard, hard panned. I can't hear both voices now, so I can. I hope you are. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm playing now. Hopefully you can hear that. And there's also a neat little thing where using the arpeggiator, uh, he says, is that going to run? There we go. So if I go into that mode, I can use set arpeggio like that, and then I can play over the top of it. Ah, oh, that's handy. Um, you can go to a different chord. Like that. Got you. Okay. Which is also neat. That's a Chris thing as well. No, Chris that's invention. nice. It's just full of these little Chris touches here and there, which is really nice. And in and, and terms of, so it's got standard sort of VA type waves. Has it got other waves? Has it got, you said it had uh, other, we other. We are other. going to put some tables in as well. So kind of on the, on the last position here. So we'll have a uh, sine triangle, uh, saw, um, that square or pulse. It'll be square in the centre when you've got the shape in the centre. Um, and then these last two are as yet to be determined. However, okay. um, we can put tables, we will be putting tables in there um, to play with. There's one in here at the moment, which is kind of a tubey thing, which is quite nice. You can hear that moving about. It's so quite unusual sounding stuff. Yeah, um, and it benefits from that analog signal path, and then obviously the filter. So this is also this is a lot cleaner, isn't it? Because the malevolent was yes. had a lot of gain. I mean, that yeah. was Finley Shakespeare's input. It was kind of uh, so this sort of yes, collaborative approach. Yeah. So it's well, well I, I said don't don't put the brakes on it. I said just let it run. Let's let's have it mad. Let's have it malevolent. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, nice. So I mean, the approach essentially is to kind of create synthesizers with different. Collab it's like each one's a collab. It's yes, like a, indeed. Right, a partnership, right? That's exactly right, yeah. That's what the whole kind of PWM idea is about, working with different teams of people, creating different things. I do want to establish this analogue, hybrid and digital 
product lines and then be able to build out from that. And then we'll have all that that we can then start mixing together, in fact. So like I say, Ben has worked on this and he's done the key scan and stuff. And we can start using elements from each and combining them and making even more wild and interesting stuff in the future. Excellent. Paul, thank you so Good. much. Thanks, Nick.